A friend of mine uh, knew Lee Harvey Oswald in the Marines. In the late 60s, Jim Garrison, the district attorney of New Orleans, announced that he had cracked the Kennedy case. Uh, my friend went to speak to Garrison because he thought he could be helpful because of his knowledge of Oswald. He ended up being accused of being one of the assassins. Thereupon, uh, started writing articles for the underground press, making fun of the whole thing, and talking about his uh, membership in the Bavarian Illuminati, which was at that time a conspiracy that only a very small minority of dingbats had ever heard of or believed in. Several of us thought it was so funny that we started writing articles in the underground press about the Illuminati. There were a couple of dozen of us. And articles about the Illuminati were appearing in all the psychedelic, uh, weird underground papers of the late 60s. And one day, Bob Shea said to me, you know, this is turning out to be a pretty good idea for a novel. And so we wrote four chapters, sent it to Dell, and I've been writing books about the Illuminati ever since. Once I got involved, I couldn't stop. I believe I have written more books about the Illuminati than any sane man in the world. But I find, although my nonfiction deals with a wide variety of subjects, every novel I write turns out to be about the Illuminati, even if, <laughs> even if they don't come in until the last third of the book. They still end up there somehow. <laughs> yeah, I can't seem to get away from them. Well, you might say that I have a psychic hook to the Illuminati. That's a nice, that's a nice way of putting it. It sounds sinister and will really uh, it, um, it does. excite the kind of people who like this kind of story. Uh, but to wind it up, I, I, I would just say keep the faith and keep the lasagna flying over Pismo Beach. Terrific. Thank you.